There's a patrol try. coming. All right. Sian, are you okay? I don't get what you mean Sian? Hit, no. hit Petrify if you need it. Um, Winter, if we click a chest and get a Mimic, then we can Petrify. Oh, right. Like, what and so it's a more... It's, yeah, it's kind of just a more efficient use of it. Alright, kill everything you got and come with us, Sian. Uh, intuition. I'm gonna use that. Oh, wait, we already have it up. Got an intuition up. Yeah. Steel. Do you guys both have steel up? Uh, see on you steel. What was in that other one? Oh, it's serenity. Don't get rid of haste. Go back to exit. I was standing there minding my own business, and it turned around. <laughs> You want to match site this floor? Uh, let's see. It's a big yes, I would like to match site this floor. Oh, and I see the horde in the middle. Yeah, I see the horde. Um, okay, I'm gonna safety so we don't have to deal with the trap. Yep. Or the exit. It's oh yeah. Exit yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, good. Um, do you want to spread out and try to try to find coffers before we do petrify? Here, I can hit Any conceal. Ammo. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't really fancy running around, but now I'm fine. So much intuition. <laughs> Why are there like... Coffer. I'm petrifying. Oh, okay, okay. It's petrified. Kill stuff. Kill stuff. The plan was mad to say. I know. I know. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mad to would have been much better. But yeah. This is why I don't. I forgot that. that we were. I actually forgot that we were going to use mad to say, too. That's fine. I thought quiver. Okay. I blame Clay. It's okay. I've also blamed Clay. Uh, God. It's off. <gasps> oh, thank God I didn't actually hit those. Uh, we didn't actually clear the stuff by the um exit, so we may have to kill some stuff. Nice. <laughs> I think it's okay. We have an extra. Yeah, we're okay. See, we can use. Yeah, that's probably oh, good. Oh, Oh, where are you? I actually have yeah. no idea where it is. Oh, Winter. Oh, I'm just gonna let you die. I'm sorry. Okay. That Maybe did. So up, that's fine. Actually, you wanna just heal him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize you were here. Yeah, he's just surviving for a while. Well, his, his, the first health, the first hit took like three quarters of his health, yeah. and I was just like, I'm not getting involved in this with the two of us. We saved him, right? Yeah. So I can run over and see where you guys yeah. are. Yeah. Uh, that do was we... the same chest. Can I use purity? That was the same chest. That's yeah, bullshit. Just um, gonna pull the jacket. Yep. And steal. And Sion's tank. Oh, god, ow. Then we should probably be able to get this exit without having to kill anything else. Nope. Anything I need to worry about on this? No, time? I think they're fine. You just get the damage up eventually. <sighs> All right, let's get here. I'm, I'm not gonna touch any more pull my <laughs> You're fine. You're <laughs> fine. I mean, it worked out. It's just we could have killed everything instead. Item penalty. Let. Magicite this floor. Oh, yeah, fuck this shit. Uh, do you want a serenity and magicite or just magicite? No, S just magicite. Serenity for intuition. No. That's just serenity. Okay. I, I think I I yeah, we got serenity for every floor, yeah. <laughs> just, I'll do it. And then fortuning. And then, do we want a safety? 
Safety? Sight, maybe? No, I think we should safety. Wait, intuition was already up. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay. Um, Good Clay, are you okay with safety? Hello, that was our floor 100 clear. All right, I am back for some more, some more stuff. <laughs> I did a uh, stream this afternoon um, where I did the MSQ, and it basically took me a little bit over three hours. Um, although if you consider the t two breaks I took, it probably took almost exactly three hours. Uh, now I want to do the diamond weapon quest, of which I actually, I, I don't know where it starts. I don't remember where it starts. I'm going to have to look this up. <coughs> uh, do, 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 do. Uh... I'm checking patch notes for this. Uh, what do we need? Quests. We've got main scenario. Oh yeah, the 24 man. I gotta do that too. Uh, Sorrow of Whirlet starts in the locks. Okay. I should have been able to guess that. So that is in Girabanya. I think it's near Porta Pretoria. Wait, I was already in that zone because I had to go to Alamegan Quarter. I guess I didn't look at my map. Yeah, there's definitely a quest here. All right. Do I not have sound? I don't have sound. There we go. I can hear something. It must have just been like in my head. All right, what do we got? Resistance officer, they need me. Duty in the sky with diamond. Resistant troops have received intriguing information from Warlet. I was expecting to see you. I wasn't expecting to see you here, considering all that's been happening at Better Orzi of late. Still, if you have a mind to assist us, we'd like to share the latest developments in Whirlit. And as luck would have it, here comes the ideal person to explain the situation. Thanks. I'll take it from here. Oh, Monago. I'm glad to see you looking so well, Ari. Are, are, am I supposed to not remember who this is? I have like the worst memory and I know who this is. It's been too long, Minago. It's been too long, Mazette. Have we met? Minago! Man. I actually remember her name too. Yes, it certainly has. I haven't seen you around Ralgar's Reach much lately. Anyone would think you're trying to avoid me. Oh no, just everyone in general. <laughs> but as much as I love to stand around chatting, I'm afraid we've got some serious business to discuss. Following the liberation of Turncliff, it seems the people of Whirlit have their hearts set on freeing themselves from the grip of the Empire. Like-minded citizens have rallied under the banner of Whirlit revolutionaries, and they aim to dispose of the 7th Legion that currently occupies the city. Their ranks include many former conscripts, and between them they possess no small amount of combat experience. The only thing they lack is someone to lead them. After much consideration, they decided to turn to none other than Gaius Belsar. And, of course, many would balk at the thought of turning to a former enemy, and many did, but desperate times call for desperate measures. His reputation as a legatus speaks for itself, and as most Alamegans will attest, he was far more reasonable and pragmatic leader than his predecessor, the Mad King the Theodoric, or his successor, Xenos, for that matter. Sorry, my phone was lighting up. It's not that important. Most importantly, he was the one who led the invasion of Warlet in the first place, so who better than him to take it back? After accepting their offer, he requested the delivery of additional arms and provisions from the Alamegan resistance. We've got our hands full dealing with the Telophoroi, as do the rest of our allies in Eorzea, but we'll do what we can. While my comrades see to the preparations, I've been assigned to meet with him in person. I was wondering, could you accompany me to Turncliff? Thanks, Ari. To be perfectly honest, coming face to face with the Black Wolf is a rather daunting prospect, even if he has supposedly turned over a new leaf. But I'm sure having you there will make a world of difference. I believe you're acquainted with our escort, yes? Let him know when you're ready to get going.
speak with the resistance escort. Who is this? Nobody important. Resistance escort. Nope. Another trip to Turncliff, is it? Yes, apparently. It's Gaius. Do I care what these guys have to say? No, not really. Ah, Gaius Belsar, I presume. I come bearing the Alamegan Resistance's official reply to your request for aid. I see. You have my thanks. Does this mean we can finally make our move? With the assistance of the Alamegans, we'll soon have sufficient arms at our disposal to stand a chance at victory. But lest we forget, the Seventh Legion has been conserving its strength thus far, and we must be prepared for severe casualties should its full might be brought to bear. If our lives must be the price of freedom, we will pay it willingly. This guy kind of has, uh, what's his face? Is Asahi's face, too. I just see it and I want to punch it. <laughs> I see it everywhere. Good grief. Let me be clear. We Alamegans have not forgotten that it was you who led the invasion of our homeland. The blood of our fallen loved ones is on your hands. Even so, the people of Orlet chose to lead the revolution, and we will honor their decision. I only hope that they will not come to regret it. As do I. Should I be found unworthy of their trust, I shall submit to their judgment and whatever that may entail. Forgive me, but might we return to the task at hand? First, I would like to discuss the transportation of supplies from Alamigo. This way, if you please. Once again, I prepare to lead an army into Whirlit. The irony is not lost on me. It is a cruel twist of fate that these people, so desperate from years of oppression, should turn to their conqueror for salvation. For most of my life, I believed that only the Empire possessed the strength and wisdom to lead mankind, that only through great sacrifice could civilization hope to thrive. And so I led the conquest of Eorzea, forcing the doctrine of Garlemald upon the ignorant and uncivilized. In every territory, I sought out those with potential for greatness, without regard for one's birth or circumstances, that they may serve the Empire. But there are those such as the Phelans who see being born Garlean as a virtue of itself, one above all others. To think that a monster such as him should be granted the position of Legatus and everything that entails. It makes my blood boil. Valen brings shame upon our homeland and makes mock of the ideals it once stood for. By my hand he shall pay for his foul crimes. We are running out of time, guys. We have to go after her. Dot, dot, dot. Who are we going after? There is something I would show you, but not here. Come with me. Oh, I meant to change my glamour. I forgot. Mm. Arthas, no. You meowed at me all afternoon. I don't want to hear it all this evening. What does Severa have to say? Why did Allie have to keep all of this a secret? We could have helped her. Okay. Let me move the keyboard for you. Hello, Mel. <laughs> He's so good lately. He's like, I know. I know I can't stand on this keyboard. And then as soon as I move it, he goes and steps where it, where it was. 
are this? You can be taught. You must keep this to yourself. I do not want soldiers to think I'm being distracted by personal matters. Did I read that already? The letter was f this letter was found in her room. Dear Father, I am sorry for leaving without saying goodbye, but the thought of Alphonse suffering alone is more than I can bear. For his sake, and for the freedom of Whirlit, I have decided to take matters into my own hands. Arthas, you're in the way. You're in the way. Get your... Arthas, you're in the way. Can you lay down? If you lay down, you can stay. But I need you to lay down. Lay down. Come on. Come on. Come on, down. A little bit further down. Down. <laughs> Your butt's too big. You gotta, you gotta lay down. You gotta, you gotta lay down. <laughs> it's like I don't understand. Lay down. Down, Poover, down. There we go. <laughs> I know of a way to save them, a way to end it all. I have to seize this chance before it's too late. My mind is set. Please do not try to stop me, Father. The days we spent together were the happiest of my life, and no matter what happens, nothing can take that away from me. With all my love, Allie. She's heading for the Seventh Legion stronghold and whirl it. I'm certain of it. No, oh, Arthas, you're so cute. You're so cute. Taking matters into her own hands. She must be planning to take control of one of the weapons. If so, there's no time to waste. We have to mobilize our forces and save Ali and Alphonse. I want nothing more than to save them, but I cannot ask the world revolutionaries to risk their lives to rescue two Imperial soldiers. In any case, if we were to rush into battle without adequate preparation, the Seventh Legion would tear our part partisan army to shreds and as a capable as capable a warrior as Ari is if she were to charge headlong into the heart of the enemy she would be overwhelmed by sheer numbers but if we don't do something Ali and Alphonse are as good as dead I know Severa and so did Ali when she wrote that letter returning alive was never part of the, her plan Who's calling? Wait, was someone calling all of us? Valdulin? Can you hear me? I'm in Whirlid, just outside Castr Castrum Colonum. All hells have broken loose. There was an enormous explosion, and through the smoke and the flames, I saw what appeared to be another weapon. At this rate, the entire... <laughs> Confound it! We've lost the signal. This must be what Alice spoke of in her letter. A way to end it all. Alphonse and the others were planning this from the beginning. To bring the weapon project to completion and use it to free Whirlit from the Empire, even at the cost of their own lives. If the ver blah, 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 blah. If the revolutionaries were to hear that a weapon has been unleashed upon the Imperial headquarters, they would see it as a perfect opportunity to strike. If it's running amok, it may not distinguish between our allies and the Imperials. A large force would draw too much attention, but the three of us should be able to get close enough without no it noticing us. Yes, that should work. Between us, we'll find a way to save them. I mean, I don't have high expectations here. <laughs> Hasn't worked the last few times. I don't know why this time's going to be any different. I cannot allow it. This is my burden to bear, and I shall bear it alone. Rest assured, I have every intention of making it alive. I'll have you know my record for surviving dangerous missions is impeccable so far. <laughs> Ugh, Arthas. Cat for everywhere. Cleaning up my nose. I don't like this. Very well. For the time being, I will have the revolutionaries stand by and await my signal. An opportunity to reclaim Whirlit may yet present itself. We must first be allowed to remove the threat of this new weapon.
Savera, have Sid ready the G-Warrior. Understood. Once your preparations are complete, let us reconvene outside the hangar. Sometime earlier in the 7th Legion's whirl at headquarters. <sighs> Allie's stealing a weapon. Oh, this fucking dude. Oh, how wonderful to see you again, my dear. I was beginning to think that you weren't coming back. In my impatience, I may have vented my frustrations on that brother of yours. I do hope you'll forgive me. Oh, I think I remember that. Lord Valens, you mentioned before that the previous weapons were merely prototypes used to gather combat data within their cores. Yes, very good. I see you were paying attention after all. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. The primals they absorbed and the data they accumulated will serve a singular purpose. The completion of my masterpiece, the diamond weapon. But while you and your siblings were able to retrieve the necessary data from the ruby weapon before Gaius and his lackeys arrived, Sapphire and Emerald were handed to the enemy on a silver platter. Those worthless curs failed to meet my exceedingly low expectations. As detailed in my report, I took it upon myself to infiltrate Gaius Belsard's band of rebels and reclaim the data. Yes, you have done well, my dear. My engineers have already finished feeding it to the diamond weapon. Then all that remains is for me to assume my role as its pilot and for you to release my brother and the rest of our compatriots, as per our agreement. Arthas, your ears in the way. Of course, of course. A handful of savages is a small price to pay for your remarkable talents. Even though the weapon project's revolutionary technology allows even an untrained pilot to fight with the skills of a veteran soldier, only the truly gifted can draw out the full potential of the synthetic orosite. In addition to their physical attributes and combat prowess, I require unwavering loyalty before I can even consider entrusting a candidate with one of my creations. And you are everything I desire. So creepy. I am honored that you regard me so highly, Lord Valens. However, in return for my continued cooperation, I wish to propose an extra condition to our arrangement. I request the people of Whirlet be, by Arthas, be given full imperial citizenship and the right to self-govern. That's never going to happen. My, my, how very bold of you, and quite astute at that. Yes, I could grant the people of Whirlet citizenship, if I so desired. Unfortunately, a mere legatus such as myself is in no position to simply relinquish control of imperial territory on a whim. Come now, we both know that the weapons are but a means to an end. Your true intent is to march on the capital and claim it for yourself, correct? Once you've taken the throne, one small territory would seem a fair reward for those who played a vital role in your the ascension of Emperor Valens. I say, for someone so sweet and innocent, you certainly drive a hard bargain. Very well. If it's Whirlet you want, it's yours. I'll soon have no need for this stinking backwater province anyways. And what about my brother? Ah, uh, yes. Alwick, or was it Alfred? Whatever his name is, you needn't worry. I've made special arrangements for him. Mm, that doesn't sound promising. He'll be perfectly safe, provided you pre uphold your side of the agreement. 
Excellent. Now let's get you aboard the aboard the diamond weapon, shall we? Ah, one step closer to my coronation. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I know this is the one father would have wanted, but it's the only way. Please, forgive me. Initiating the synthetic orosite system. All sensors activated. So far, so good. Diamond weapon, code name Xenos. Ugh. Commencing activation sequence. Behold, perfection itself. Melisandia, Recon, and Rex gave their lives. That others may live without fear. Uh, the Orosite is taking hold. I'm just glad you didn't have to go through this, Alphonse. But you'll have to go on without me. You and Father must still must work together to- Ah! I'm sorry I can't be there but your side. This is the only way. What's that, my dear? Is something the matter? The diamond weapon is mine. Your tyranny ends here, Valens. Blast. You're, you're missing. You're missing him. Lowborn filth! If you think your little performance had me fooled, you are sorely mistaken. What are you waiting for? Shut it down. Yes, my lord. Transmitting deactivation signal. Uh oh. Uh, it's not responding. Insolent whelp had me worried for a moment. Bring her to me alive, even if it means damaging the machine. When I'm through with her, she will beg for death. No, I can't let it end like this. Melisandia, Rykon, Rex, guide my hand. Alphonse, wherever you are, lend me your strength. Bzz, combat sample, bzz, ready, initiating, overmind, subject name, bzz. Overmind? What is that? Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this can't be! It's ignoring the shutdown signal and initiating Overmind. But how? I don't care how! Stop that thing before it brings down the whole castrum! Oh, blast him. Blast him! 
He's dead, right? Come on. Don't fail me. Ready to depart, I'll send for Master Garland. We all expected another weapon to appear sooner or later. Not quite like this. According to Valdolin, after it finished laying waste to the headquarters of the 7th Legion, it took to the sky. Though it has dealt a massive blow to the Imperial forces, I am certain that Ali is on board the weapon. It must be halted before she comes to harm. I think it's too late for that. And for that, I need the G-Warrior and airships to transport it. I see that thing hasn't changed since your days as the Black Wolf. I see that one thing hasn't changed since your days as the Black Wolf. Your penchant for gigantic war machina. <laughs> But if this means the G-Warrior has another chance to shine, I'd be happy to oblige. Only this time, rather than having it unceremoniously towed by airships, I have a more dynamic entrance in mind. It's good to see you again, Ari. From what I hear, we have you to thank for Alvi Avelina volunteering to help the Ironworks. Since she joined the team, our work has come on leaps and bounds. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to finally put my knowledge and skills to good use. And as far as I can tell, your target is the diamond weapon, the most powerful of them all. What's worse, its design incorporates all of the combat data and abilities of the other weapons, making it far more formidable than those you encountered before. Thankfully, we've had time to prepare for such an occasion. Would you care to elaborate? Let me put it like this. Thanks to Avelina's tireless dedication, the G-Warrior has been reborn. But there will be time to explain more on the way. Come on, the Enterprise is waiting. Very impressive, but may I ask what purpose it serves? Since our objective is to rescue the pilot, we've added a means of capturing the diamond weapon. We come to save lives, not to end them, and for that reason the G-Warrior has been reborn. I present to you the G-Savior! <laughs> Seems a little big and cum cumbersome. Although, oh, what is going on here? Once again, Sid and his engineers have provided precisely what we require before we even knew it ourselves. Due to the added complexity, we'll have Gaius pilot while Ari handles the various armaments. Excuse me. Agreed. There will be little opportunity for us to grow accustomed to our roles, but even so, we must succeed at all costs. Cloud deck is now accessible. Alright. Uh, before I queue for this, I'm actually going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in like three minutes or so. Yeah, but who, no, who
Oh, I got raised with it, I think. When did you die? I died first. I was trying to hit witching. Oh, right. But I had the uh, the griffin was on me. I was just trying to pick them all up. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the huge AOE. If, if you guys res here, you're going to immediately have to fight a griffin, so... Beware of that. There's still traps to you, by the way, so... Sion, just walk past the griffin. Don't hit with range. Just walk past it into the hallway. There you go. Eek. Oh, dear God. You're all hallowed. I'm okay for a little while. Yeah, I just like have no resources <laughs> yet. That's why I hello. I have a lion coming. So what's the deal with the room up ahead? Uh, we just it's hit a luring be. trap in it, but there's like a bajillion uh, coffers in it, so we should probably clear it and open stuff. Although we're pretty yeah. full, so I'm not sure what all <laughs> we're hoping to replenish. There's a bunch of silvers in there. Oh uh, yeah, that could let's, be helpful. Let's pull the griffin normally, Sion. We can witching if we get a uh, quivering coffer. As well, just pull the tofu normally too. I can pull it for you. Turn up, pull it. Nice. Can you line aside it so it comes closer? You have to like break its line aside, yeah. Well, at least we know there's no trap in the room. Yep. Raising. Uh, we should all, like, open stuff, because if we get more than one, then we can... Oh, ow. Wait, careful. Careful. I guess it's a good reason not to open the wall at once. <laughs> you can seal, see on. It's another raising. We got a quivering yeah, copper. Wait and see if we get any other ones. So there's a strength. Who needs strength? <laughs> There's a bunch of raisins in here. I have an extra <laughs> shank, I think. You want to so you can use that? There's quite a few steels, I think, as well. There's a purify. Yeah, I'm gonna hit a steel. Yeah, use the pure. Well? Use purify clay. Do you need to refresh? Uh, well, do you need a steel? See on. Yeah, I do. Where is the... okay, let's get out of here. Wait, we don't have the exit. Is it in this room down here? Probably. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, good lord. Alright, um, the mammoth? We just grab... We'll start Everything's too close to it, so yeah, just, just pull. Uh, are uh, these the ones that have the massive work. AoE that you gotta clear to it, really close, far? Close. Everyone stay close. Walk through. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this stay is the one where, like, if you're just outside, you're still gonna get hit by it. You gotta, like, be behind it or yeah. way outside the AoE. You have to do the griffin, too. 
Hey, if one of us dies, there's plenty of raisins. <laughs> it's true. I'd like to not die. Yeah, that would be preferable. That room, though, that was just like an especially fuck you room. Oh, you were okay <laughs> until I hit the luring trap. Yeah, we should have just witchinged like immediately. I'm back. Sorry, that might have been a little longer than three minutes. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's cue this up. Let's get some sound going. Uh oh, Arthas is back. Uh oh. Uh, if I click the entrance, it'll bring this up, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, this is. Oh, the cloud deck. <laughs> it's not the. It's like, wait, what? No, cloud deck. Join. Insta queue. All right, I did watch a video of. Uh, I watched the Mr. Happy Guide for the extreme version earlier today, so I'm sort of familiar with how mechanics work. We'll see how they work in normal mode and. Uh, Go from there. Hmm, that's very wobbly. Anti icon war machina, diamond weapon. Yes. Target in sight, pin it down with a salvo of missiles. Oh, well, we get blasted back. Threat detected, returning fire. Wait, a familiar male voice? I don't understand. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, I guess over mine, they become like somebody else. Usually somebody we know, right? Oh yeah, I'm in a cutscene with people waiting. It's kind of a long one. It's me! Ah, look, it's other people. Oh, look, first of the cutscenes. Everyone else should be soon, too. Yeah, here they all come. I suppose it's all about how fast people load it in. Alright. I'm gonna get an allegory, I'm pretty sure. Did somebody just run off the side? Yeah, they did. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, he's got a check. <laughs> Usually if they don't let you fall off in, uh, <laughs> normal. I guess you can fall off in a bunch of normal stuff, but, uh. All right, well, we're starting in 13 seconds. Oh, that's a big, uh, big hitbox. Four, three, two, one. I guess we're going. I won't let you harm my sister. Wait, who? Who is this? Diamond rain. That's going to be AOE. All right. Wait, that's not Ali. No, it cannot be. Wait, who is this? Wait. I knew there was another one. Next trick, save your mark too. Okay. <laughs> he brought he brought a friend. Oh, I'm just gonna go over here. Uh, no, there's too many of us. Somebody should Oh, two they both went back. Okay, somebody came back. Alright, now we're evenly split. Oh, now there's too many people. <laughs> oh, that's the... Okay, it's a good thing I came over here. Hmm, I guess I'll go pick them up. Oh, shoot. Oh, God! <laughs> Uh. 
This goddamn map. <laughs> Uh. Hey y'all. Okay. I want to be over there for healing purposes. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go over here because this guy needs healing. Oh god. Well, that worked out. Can I heal this guy from over here? Probably, right? Can I? There we go. Have to keep fighting until my dream, our dream, has been realized. Wait, what is? The true face of the diamond weapon. What the hell is that thing? Oh, okay. I'm gonna knock back it. Hmm, I would like to not be over here. Hello, Winter. I I am back. Where did you come by when I was not here? Oh. Okay. Ah, okay. This is safe for now. Then I need to run across. I didn't fall off. <laughs> You're enjoying the near raid? Yeah, I gotta do that too. How'd I find the story? It was fun. It was good. I'm I enjoyed I enjoyed all the Astinian in it. Vertical cleave. Oh, okay. That's a little oh, I want to be. Ooh, okay, that's fine. Uh oh, he's got two bomb stacks. That's gonna suck. Oh, good. We have someone else in race. All right. Which way is he? No, I I picked the wrong side again. Oh God. Oh. Oh no, I picked a bad spot. <laughs> well! <laughs> that went poorly. God damn it. I don't... I don't think I want this. Yeah. yeah I don't think I should take this. Um, ow. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna go poorly. <laughs> I, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Oh, I think I wanna just like... Jump over. Okay. They're dead though. Alright, I'm just gonna jump off.
four, three, two, one. Diamond rain. What the? Oh, I see. I just kept standing on the thing. Gotta move off of it. Uh-oh. Oh no, we have- Oh god. Oh, tank dead. Oh dear god. Alright, I gotta go over here. Uh... Uh... Oh, don't die. Where? Where is this guy? Teddy, uh, okay, apparently I didn't have slipped up. That's a long cast, but I don't know why no one else is. Okay. Alright, he's gonna jump here, so we wanna get knocked straight like this. Hey. Okay, nobody fell off. Uh, okay, I wanna get not on this side. Nope. Oh, somebody didn't get off. Alright. We need to tank up. Uh, thank you for moving that away from me. He's got his diamond weapon. 
Well, I'm still doing normal, so uh, I got a little ways to go. At this rate, it'll overheat, restoring armor. Okay. There's this thing. Don't worry, Ali, I'll keep you safe. Is it somehow Alphonse? I don't understand. Oh! Oh, this is the wrong... <laughs> wrong side to be on. <sighs> uh... You grafted hard with many dumb... <laughs> PF parties before you earned your weapon. You can call the whole fight. Uh, um, well, we need, I'm, god damn it. No! Uh, oh, that was gonna go poorly. We're just gonna be wrecked. I don't know why they stacked with me. <laughs> Can you help me think? I didn't realize we had it. We probably wouldn't hit everybody with it, though. Well, this is definitely the harder uh, normal. I can't remember the last time um, if I didn't just like one shot it. I didn't realize it was full either, but I had the stack. I was just hoping that they wouldn't. St I should just run away from them, but I was like, eh, we're dead. And then as, as we were standing there being, getting killed, Somebody was like, I'll be free. Tanks doing their tanky thing. Okay, 
Okay, Adamant Purge means he's doing a stack to one side. And it is... Oh, it's the stack. Okay. I guess it doesn't always mean the thing. It just means he's doing... doing something. I think in Extreme, though, it does that... those together, I think. Maybe not. Alright, now he's gonna jump to one side and we're gonna need to do a knockback. Okay, here. Okay, and that side is bad. And then that side goes away. Alright. Outrage. Is that just AoE? Yeah. I think last time I thought it was a tank buster and then it was not. Alright. Um this one is safe. But then we gotta move across. Trying to learn to read this stuff better because I know expert, you have to do it without um, uh, markers or indicators. So, vertical cleave, get knocked into a corner. Now, red mage never learns. Pretty sure they died there last time. Alright, let's tank buster. We gotta move after this. Lost another person. Mm, what's happening now? Side's coming back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Alright. Thanks. Hmm. Oh dear god. Oh god. Oh, I didn't see that that was happening. I just came over here for the tank. Uh, Alright. Be over here, but then he's doing an adamant purge. What is his pro Okay, the other side is bad. This side is fine. Uh oh, we lost tank again. And he's over there. Uh. Oh, ow. Oh, that interrupted me. Shit. Is this on me? The 
this tower is on the other side that no one's standing in. Oh god, okay, I'm going. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to you guys. Come, come to- No, everybody left. Fudge. Ow, my face. Gonna go that way, right? Oh god! <laughs> it's just that it's gonna follow. My bad. So I should have just jumped across. <sighs> well, oh god, why me? Why am I? F oh, we lost both tanks. Okay. Oh, we already wasted a healer LB3. Alright. Well. Oh. Did I just saw how to mana? Oh, I gotta jump over anyway. Okay. Oh god, okay, I gotta get in the middle of this. <sighs> if only our res mage uh, wasn't the one who kills themselves the most. Uh, I'm just gonna go over here. Battle. Uh, where's this tank? I would like to heal you. You are far away. Uh, there's people in all of them, right? Yeah, okay. Three, two, oh god. Uh, come to me, people. Cool. Where's this person dead? Oh, way over there. Um, if you could, like, come closer in the middle, I would heal you. Yeah. there with me. I don't understand what you're supposed to do to that. Uh, I feel like I f had it the first time and now like... Oh, you drop it and then you run across. Okay, no, never mind. I, I get what you're supposed to do. Come on, have mana. There we go. Uh, um, do I not... Okay. Uh, I would like to go across. Yes. No, oh, I should probably just kill this. Yeah. <sighs> 
<laughs> oh my god, okay. Whew! This does not make you want to do that fight. I mean, it's gonna go better when people will know it a little bit better. Nobody in that <laughs> at all will have an idea what they're doing. Oh, I was like, what is this thing? But yeah, they're, uh, they're tethered together. I mean, it was just normal, Teddy. Still got to do your stream. Oh, I can give commendations. Yeah, sure, my co-healer. Only percent left. Two commendations for me. Normal is still rough. Yeah, that was... I think that's the roughest normal I've done. <laughs> that was hard. I also killed myself a whole lot. But yeah, I did it right the first time and then, but I didn't understand what I did right. <laughs> or I just like forgot. <laughs> we must reach the diamond weapon before the Imperials. So you drop it and then you go and you jump to the other side because then it won't get to you. <sighs> the little arrowy thing that does the AOE that chases you is what I'm talking about. In all the years since the invasion, this place has hardly changed. I was expecting to find some sign of the Seventh Legion here, but it would appear the Diamond Weapon has already taken them out of the equation. Since the extreme has to be organized into two the light parties, it's tidier. Yeah, that's that's fair too. I pray we are not too late. Who's in it, though? I don't understand. It was Allie. Is it somehow Alphonse, or is it someone completely different? Face planted hard? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the emerald weapon it's Allie but it was a guy's voice I don't understand Allie are you live though is this our first successful <laughs> saving Allie uh, uh. <laughs> oh What was the core that was used? Yeah, I don't know. Please, take her back to Turncliff. I have some unfinished business to attend to. But, I want to know. <laughs> Those are some shifty eyes. <laughs> uh... Um, oh, I somehow uh, <laughs> left my thing off and I didn't know that there was something I was supposed to press on. Now to learn what has become of Alphonse. If you have a score to settle, now's your chance. Show yourself. That was a very, very long pause. What the fuck? No, you're supposed to be dead. No, you got blasted to smithereens. Come to gloat, have you guys? It's not over yet. 
No, I was so happy when he got blasted to smithereens. You certainly have an instinct for self-preservation. I would accept... Expect nothing less from the coward who sacrificed his own soldiers to further his ambitions. How dare you speak to me of ambitions? You are the one who stood in my way at every turn. I mean, that was his ambition. If not for your meddling, the Empire would have been mine! Mine! Enough of your delusions of grandeur. Where is Alphonse? <laughs> what a creeper. Why he's right in front of you. Um, say what now? What? <laughs> Once you hear, hear the answer, you'll kick yourself for not realizing it sooner. You'll see, in all of the previous models, the combat data was either incomplete or unstable in some way, making their performance in battle wildly unpredictable. But then an idea struck me. Rather than using data gathered in battle, I should use something a little more realistic. It turns out that beloved boy of yours was quite brilliant when he put his mind to it. By my ingenuity, he has been reborn as the core of the greatest machine ever devised. None but the great Lord Valens Van Varo could conceive such a marvel. Hmm. I don't understand how that works, but sure. All right, evil laughing. And to think that Allie came here to steal the diamond weapon to save her brother, only to find he'd already become part of it. Perhaps it wasn't the reunion she'd envisioned, but I'm sure she was grateful nonetheless. Oh, that might also explain why Overmind activated it all by itself. It was clearly an attempt to protect his precious sister. A fascinating anomaly, but I can't stand disobedience. That such atrocities should continue unabated is proof of the rot that has spread throughout the Empire. Your crimes are an affront not only to Garlemald, but to all of mankind, and now you will die. Looks awfully familiar. That was this like book thing he has. <sighs> Can we not forget, guys? You were currently in Tug too. I know, but he learned the error of his ways. Have you forgotten, guys? I've seen your data. I know your every move. Such pitiful swordsmanship is a relic of the past, just like you. That, the one special bullet. That is quite a special bullet. He's like, wait, I don't know what this is. What is this? <laughs> like frantically googling. <laughs> Terminus S. Crossia more. <laughs> Loads of magical bullets, yeah. <laughs> but this wasn't in my data. Gross. Why is his hand all bandaged up? Has it always been like that? Something happened to his hand? Um, what is going on here? Reactivating synthetic oversight system. Hi, Alphonse. So you can grab him. Squish him. Squish him like a bug.
No, you just picked him up, okay. I was like, I don't hear squishing sounds. This can't be! How is it still functional? Removing memory inhibitors. Oh, I'm not squish. Probably not so robot voice. Squish him! Squish him! <laughs> squish. What? You! I mean, are you surprised? Ah! Stop this at once! Oh, all of them. Please let me go! Albert! No! Ar Why did that cut out? I didn't press a button. Even the names of those sacrificed in your twisted experiments are beneath your notice. You are beyond redemption. Oh, sorry, I want to check the names. Uh, Albert, no. Elf farmed. Wait, no, no. <laughs> okay. Who are you to judge me, Gaius? Do you remember the names of the tens of thousands of men, women, and children killed for the sake of your conquests? Yeah, probably not. But at least he feels bad about it. I do not deny the blood spilled at my behest, nor will I run from my past. That is why I fight. To prevent the wrongs I committed from being repeated. No, stop! I beg you- oh god, there's a lot of them now. You can't do this to me! I'm Valens Van Varro! Better than Gaius- why does it keep cutting out? Better than all of them. It can't end this way. Ugh. I'm not pressing buttons. I don't know why the chat log keeps flipping ahead on me. Alphonse. Alphonse, my son, I have failed you. But this is not the end. I will see your dreams fulfilled. This I swear. I ask only that you, Melisandia, Rykon, and Rex, watch over me. gonna blast him? Or is he just opening up his heart? Father, the memory stored in the diamond weapon. Give them to Allie. Poor Allie. I mean, poor all of them that died, but like, Allie has to live without her siblings, and that's gotta suck. Watch over her in my stead, Father. I cannot go on like this, please. I understand. It's so pixelated. Aww. Thank you. I'm proud to call myself your son. I see. We will remain here until further notice. That was Gaius. Valens Venvaro and the Weapon Project are no more. Seizing the opportunity, the Whirlit Revolutionaries have taken control of the city. Though they still suffered considerable losses, they have at least gained their freedom. 
And even with the Empire gone, for people like me, life under Imperial rule is all that we've ever known. I might never be able to heal the scars left by decades of oppression. While there is hope for those who have survived this ordeal, nothing can bring back the dead. The loss of my wife and daughter left a void in me that can never be filled. In the years since, I have struggled to find a purpose, a reason to keep on living. It is the same for Gaius. No matter how hard he tries to make amends, the children he lost are gone forever. Oh, was that really all a one single quest? Yikes. It's <laughs> a long quest. Forever at your side. Oh. Severa's concern for Ali's well being. The recent events in Whirlit have had a profound impact on the lives of many, many people, but none more so than Ali. She's been in a state of shock ever since she returned. We've even called in Sid to see if he can ascertain what the problem might be. You see, there's a strong possibility that the diamond weapon itself is what caused Ali to close herself off like this. But for the time being, all we can do is wait. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. Avelina came by looking for you earlier, so perhaps you could go and see her. Eh, no mounts. I'm coming, Avelina. Avelina. Thank you for coming to meet me. I'm glad to see you're none the worse for your experiences. Actually, I've been meaning to show you this. Thanks to the Alamegan resistance, the monument to the fallen is complete. Though they may no longer be with us, we'll never forget them. This way they'll always be part of Turncliffe and future generations will be reminded of the sacrifices that were made. You were always so kind to me, and now it's my turn to do the same for others. Avelina is absorbed in prayer. Now would be a good time to return to Sephara. Oh, okay. Oh, look how many keys she has. I hope all is well with Avelina. Actually, while you were speaking with her, I received word that Gaius will be here soon. Am I just gonna wait here for Gaius? Okay. I wish to see Allie. Would you send for her? Oh, it's fast. Wait, no, that's not Allie. Who the heck's this? Oh. That's it. Poor Allie. Allie. Uh. Does she even recognize me? At first we thought the weapon's influence had caused this, but it seems that there's more to it than that. The Chirurgeons say that this is most likely the result of intense trauma. Her mind has been scarred, perhaps irrevocably.
She boarded the diamond weapon with the intention of saving her brother. Little did she know that Valens had used the synthetic orosite system to transform Alphonse into a living component of the machine. Then, when she boarded the diamond weapon, she finally learned the horrible truth. I've never heard of anything so cruel. Just a moment. In each of the previous cases, pilots became fused within the weapon's core. So how was Allie able to escape a similar fate? That's one of the many things we're still looking into. There's no need. I already know the answer. It was Alphonse who kept her safe. In the end, I was unable to save your brother, my son. All they wanted was a place to call home, where they could live in peace. But after all the pain and hardship they endured, this is their reward? No, this is not the end of their story. I taught them the strong must lead the weak, but absolute power corrupts absolutely, and those who have suffered at the hands of the corrupt are beyond counting. Alphonse dreamed of a land without oppressors and the oppressed, where all may live as equals, thanks to his sacrifice and that of his siblings. The cornerstones of such a nation have been laid. Melisandia, Rykon, Rex, Alphonse, and Ali, they risk everything to win the freedom of Worlet. And now it has come to pass. I will see their ideals are upheld, this I swear, as their father. The long and arduous process of rebuilding Worlet has begun. In the days to follow, I shall be working alongside the new government to create a place that people like Ali and Savara will be proud to call home. For so long, all that kept me alive was hate, but the time has come to cast it aside. I'm going with you. I'll only regret it if I don't, and while nothing I can do can bring back the ones I've lost, I owe it to them to make the most of the life I've been given. Times change, people change, and it's just as well. We inventors would soon find ourselves out of work if everything stayed the same. If you have a need for my creations, just say the word. You know, guys, I could fill a book with all the things I've been meaning to say to you over the years. But what would be the point? What's done is done. There is one thing, though. If anyone can get through to Allie, it's you. She looks up to you the same way I did as a boy. Don't give up on her. How the heck old is Gaius? <laughs> Uh, Allie says nothing, <laughs> not surprisingly, guys. I would not have made it this far without my constant companions, Vodolin and Savara. In fact, I believe she has a few words to share with you. It has taken me a long time, too long, but I finally found a reason to live for the present, for the future. For all my life, I've been searching for my place in the world. Everywhere I went, I was always on the outside looking in. But I've realized that if we can't if we can't find one, we just have to make it ourselves. That's what I learned from Gaius' children. Despite everything, they never gave up, and neither will I. For now, at least, my place is at Gaius' side. I'll follow him and see where this journey leads. And before I leave, I want to tell you how grateful I am that you chose to stand by us until the end. I hope we'll meet again one day. 
All this time I've been trying to convince myself that Gaius was every bit the villain I'd imagined him to be, the ruthless subjugator of nations, evil made flesh. And while many who fight under the banner of Garlemald are all that and worse, I realize now that Gaius was driven by his own notions of right and wrong, misguided as they were. Since then he has turned his back on the Empire and its hateful doctrine. His guilt and anguish only strengthen his resolve. The day I spared his life, he was given a second chance, to set right the wrongs he had committed, to become the man his children believed him to be. Excuse me. I was a father once, a husband. In many ways I still am, and even though they are no longer with me, I want to be someone they would be proud of. Now I too have been given a chance to make a difference, in a land far from home. I'll never forget my past, but neither will I be beholden to it. When I meet the people of Warlet, I'll be sure to tell the tale of your bravery and compassion. May I grant them the strength to face the struggles ahead. Pray. Go in peace, my friend. Though we were brought together under strange circumstances, Valdolin and Svara and I will continue Valdolin, Svara and I will continue to work together, at least for the foreseeable future. Well, here they are. Oh, oh, his, uh, his kids. And who might these charming young men be? They were found in the 7th Legion headquarters, in one of the few areas that escaped unscathed following the Diamond Weapon's rampage. Perhaps that was Alphonse's attention. Intention. Do not be afraid. We mean you no harm. That thing on your forehead. My name is Gaius Belsar, and like Valen Van Varo, I was once a legatus of the Garlean Empire. Though I believed I was fighting for a just cause, my conquests came at a terrible cost. Pray, forgive me. I do not mean to scare you. If you would lend me your ears, I have a story to tell. A group of courageous young men and women, not so different from yourselves, stood up to protect their people from the tyranny of the Empire. They fought with everything they had, and finally victory was theirs, but it came at a terrible price. As their father, I still struggle to come to terms with their sacrifice, and yet they have entrusted the future to me, and I will st stop at nothing to see their dream fulfilled. Even so, there's only so much one soldier can achieve by himself. I would be honored to have your support in the days to come. At ease, lads. He's not as scary as he looks. And if he steps out of line, he'll have me to answer to. They just must be so confused. Though they were fortunate enough to have, dis have escaped the destruction of the castrum, they may have been injured while fleeing. Have the Kyurgens look them over and find a place for them to stay. More children? It seems time has come for us to go our separate ways once more. I myself can scarcely believe we were once bitter adversaries, but my encounters with you have led me to question the very ideals I swore to uphold. What is strength? What is weakness? If those who grasp the reins of powers are said to be the strong, then those who lack such power must therefore be weak. For better or for worse, however, we are far more complex creatures than that. I now see that true strength is not granted by others, 
but resides within us. Strength of character, of spirit, of resolve. Therein lies the power to cast off the shackles of oppression, to overcome any advers adversity, to stand firm in the face of impossible odds. That is the strength you possess. May it never leave you. It seems I have to summon all the resolve I can muster if I'm to keep my promised self on. The process of establishing the independent governance of Orlet is underway, and I will do all in my power to see it become everything my children dreamed of and more. For the immediate future, we shall continue to work closely with the Alamegan resistance, whose role in the revolution cannot be understated. That reminds me, if you are passing by Porta Pretoria, the soldiers stationed there wish to hear your version of the events. Please give them my regards. I hope that when our paths cross again, I will have glad tidings to share with you. Until next we meet. I hate that they're just leaving. Poor Ali's standing there. Man, they just like dumped me off here. Wait, who is this? Boy, Lucius. So this, I don't remember who that is. I think we probably just did a dude together once upon a time. Welcome back, Ari. Congratulations on another hard earned victory. Ever since we first heard the news, I've been dying to hear exactly how it all unfolded. So, what can you tell me of this diamond weapon? He looks horrified. By Rolger's beard! Even for the Empire, this that must be a new low. Those poor orphans. I can only pray that the citizens of Warlet were able to enjoy the freedom that Gaius's wards gave their lives for. At the very least, we need to no longer f live in fear of the monstrous creations birthed by the weapon project. I shall add your account to our official report. Finally, on behalf of the Alamegan Resistance and the whole of Eorzea, for that matter, allow me to express my heartfelt gratitude. Thank you. Who are you to speak on the behalf of all of Eorzea? What am I looking up at? I'm just basking in the night sky. Oh. Meanwhile, elsewhere, what's going on here? Oh, Allie. <sighs> the hell is that? Oh, is that his core? Father, the memory is stored in the diamond weapon. Give him to Allie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is she prepared to take them? Be like, here, snap out of it. Here's the memories of your brothers and sisters. Or sister. What's going on? Ghosts. Wait, is that her? Did she know them? 
Or is this ghost of... What is going on here? I mean, all the rest of them are dead, so it's really weird to see Gaius as part of that, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess he can be a memory and still be alive, but like... Oh, I guess Ollie's still alive, too. Fair enough. Projections from within the synthetic aura say it. Whoops. Oh, that was the wrong button. These are his memories, their memories. Oh yay, she she moves. I don't want to live in a world without you. That's why I'm going with you. No, Ali, don't do that. No, not yet, Ali. Now is not your time. Father still needs you. Please take care of him in our place. If you're worried about Alphonse, don't be. He's got us for company. I know. So sad. I very nearly cried a little bit there. We want you to see the new world for yourself. But I'll never be alone. Father. It's the end. I hope we 
see Allie again. I hope I we get to learn what happens, or not what happens to her, what becomes of her. Mass destruction of weapons. <laughs> That's a good achievement title. All right, let's unlock. Extreme! Of late, all I can think about is weapons. Weapons, weapons. I channeled this passion in crafting homages of my favorite war machina, which is more than a mere hobby. It is the wind in my sails. Which my creations would you like to see? The diamond weapon. Excuse me. An excellent choice. I'll have it ready in a jiffy. It's beautiful. Here it is, the most formidable of all weapons, one that requires no introduction. Having said that, I'll give one regardless. Let me begin with its alternate name, A-E-W-I-Z. Like the other models, it is an anti-icon war, war machina, and the I is a numerical indicating it belongs to the first series of prototypes. Z is to imply it's the final version. All right. It's merely a conjecture on my part, but the ruby, sapphire, and emerald weapons appear to have been designed from the outset to gather data for making improvements to the diamond weapon. <sighs> yup. But that's not all. The diamond weapon was equipped with a certain element that the other models lacked. This enabled it to reach its final perfected state. But it's the nature of this element that troubles me. Even after reading the report, I'm still having trouble coming to terms with the sacrifices made in the name of the weapon project. Perhaps we should give a moment of silence for the young lives lost. I was planning to give the sculpture to the people of Whirlit as a reminder of the brave souls whose deeds eventually led to the independence from the Empire. As with my previous works, the sculpture can also be used to reenact your encounter with the weapon. I hope it will prove useful in preparing for whatever the future has in holds in store. Cloud Deck Extreme now accessible. Dun dun dun. So I think I'm not going to do Extreme tonight, because it's already, like, I only really have an hour or so left, and I just don't feel up to getting into that tonight. Broken heart. Are you still around, Winter? I assumed you went to sleep. <laughs> oh, don't make me feel bad. <laughs> uh, now you make me make me look. Has there been a, a learning party? There isn't any. Oh wait, here they are. Wait. Why does it say Ifrit? <laughs> Is it Ifrit in the middle? Uh, anyways. Blind bro of oh, the oh yeah, it's a uh, whore leader in real. I remember that. All right, but yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna do it tonight. Some people call the second phase Ifrit. Fair enough. Yeah, I saw Ifrit and I was like, oh, I must have gotten to something else. <laughs> we call Ifrit dog here. Oh, I just learned that. Cause he charges like Ifrit. Dog face. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to go make a new glamour though. And then I might, I think I'm going to do a, I'm going to make a glamour and then I'm going to do a DR run because I probably should do, not forget to do those. And then, yeah, tomorrow I'll do, um, do diamond weapon when, but I think the static is doing it. So, um, that'll, I assume some people will have done it. Other people will have not. And we'll kind of prog, prog together. Nice looking gym. Interesting. Oh, somebody's DCing. But yeah, I gotta go make a glamour out of this uh, body piece from the, the dungeon. Even though, sadly, it's not diable. But it is pretty hot. So, I'm gonna go do it. I, I needed... I'm, I've been needing to update my glamour for a while anyways. So. Let's add... 
Let's add this body piece. It's this one, right? Yeah. Like, look at that. That looks pretty darn nice. So, oops, now I want to edit glamour plates. What what do I want to change? Probably the one that I currently Uh, you know what? Let's change this one up. This is boring. Uh where is this? This. And then remove. Probably just need to put on like like a nice uh black bikini. Wait, do I not have a black bikini? No, I totally do. It is under exclusive extras. There we go. There. All right, I can show some some nice skin. And then, what can we do in the way of feet? Those did work, but let's see if we uh, have anything have anything else to use. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want something that comes up too high. I gotta show some nice thigh, right? But showing too much leg, I feel like, looks weird too. Um. Hello, M3 DZY. <laughs> However, you want to be called. How's it going? Welcome. I'll let, let me look at, at bottoms. Maybe we'll find something that looks nice with this. Because I feel like. I feel like maybe we could find something interesting. I don't know, maybe like pants would look cool with that. They still have too much other random color on them. I wish I could keep the dye on and be like, I want black. Let me cycle through everything dyed black. Cause see, even like something like that would actually be kind of cool. But not enough leg. Like, oh, we can't die that. I don't know, how about some shorts? Still show some leg, but not, not too much. Honestly, that's kind of cute. Although then I need boots that come up at least to the knees. What if we dyed this, like, a blue to match the, like, what matches the, the blue that we've already got? I don't know. Something like that? No, it's too blue. It's a darker. It's a more, like, grayish blue. Yeah, something like that. Actually, that matches pretty well. The back. I kind of like that. Let's see if we can find some boots that go with that. Honestly, at this point, I kind of just want to do the high summoner boots. So we just need what dye do we end up using? Because I definitely don't have a shadow blue dye. How do you get it? Probably off the marker board. Uh, Shadow blue dye. What is the source of this? It is from the Sahagan vendor, which I'm far too lazy to go to. Uh, what if we dye these blue too? Just, just out of curiosity. How's that as a look? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like it might be too much blue on the bottom. Oh yeah, that is not, I just changed the angle that I'm looking at my monitor and it's not actually black all the way through there. There's some like, 
Hmm, I don't think I have that color. Like, what is... It's like a... It's like a purple, but it's like a dark purple. I don't think I... I don't think we have that color purple. No, even that. It's closer, but it's still like a little bit redder. Honestly, that's not terrible, though. Hmm... Hmm, I want to do something different for the head. Uh, you know what? That's not terrible. Now she looks kind of superhero-y. The coloring kind of matches, too. No, these purple. These purple boots are not working. It's like a... I have like a reddish purple. A bit. That's a bit too much. What if we go with the like soot black, which I think is slightly different than uh, hmm. I feel like is there like a darker blue even than that? Hmm. No, it was really. Oh no, you know what? That one's not terrible either. Woad blue or shadow blue? Hmm, is the woad blue just a little bit closer? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think the woad blue matches a tiny little bit better. Oh no, let me see if we can do better for boots. <sighs> I just don't want something that comes up, because I feel like if it comes up to, it meets the dangly bits, it just becomes kind of confusing. So we need something that's more like knee height. Like, that's not terrible. Gotta be higher than ankles, though, to cover up the bottom of these stupid, <laughs> the stupid skirt. Like, so I don't see this part. What the hell boots are these? Oh, Koopo shoes. Is that from winter? Must be from winter. <laughs> I hate how her ankles look in these. Also, I hate that the boots are, like, dirty. She's, like, dirty boot, toe boots. Wash your, wash your boots, Ari. You have no ankles. The least you can have is clean boots. What if we just remove the die on these? Whoops. <laughs> Not remove the item, remove the die. I guess we just have to go this. Oh, their default color is great. That was the default color, right? Yeah. So we need to get... What die is this? Uh, we need to get Woad Blue Dye. I swear this is not actually dyed properly, though. Yeah, no, these are... 
Oh, they are ice blue, but I've removed them. Okay, that's that's why that's confusing. Okay, sorry, what dye did I say I needed? I need this woad blue. Okay, where does woad blue come from? You know what, I'm just gonna buy it from the market board regardless. So we gotta remove this die, save it. Oh, you have to like actually dye it with the terabit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have some of that somewhere though. What is it called? Terabinth. Huh, I don't, interesting. I totally thought I did. Okay. We'll save this and then we'll go get what I need. Oof. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty sure Terabinth I can buy from like NPC really easily. I just don't know where. So we'll see. We'll see what it costs on the market board just because I'm real lazy. And what's the point of having boatloads of gill if you can't be lazy with it? Okay. Whoa, blue. The shitty part about this is I always have to buy more than I want. Oh no, someone's selling just one. I only need one. Okay. Terabinth? You've absolutely bought Terabinth from an NPC and just sold the market for I don't want to buy five. I just want one. Ugh. Um. Let me see where you can get it. Maybe there's someone who, right here who sells it. I know I can buy it at the free company house. Uh, yes. 14.8. What is their name? Uh, oh wait. I was looking the wrong. Oh no, I was looking the right. Alaric. Where's Alaric? Alaric. 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 This guy. <laughs> Give me some Terabinth. Alright. Now I can go back. I don't care about the money, I just hate spending, buying more than I want, and then either having to toss things or being stuck with, <laughs> stuck with stuff. Uh, and then, uh, I still gotta do the 24 man quests. Quest. Why am I like running sideways? Um, with that, I don't have time tonight, and I won't have time tomorrow night, so maybe that'll be a project for Saturday. Okay, let's go get this dye done. Okay, edit, glamour plates, where's the one that we were saving? Dye this with the woad blue. Dye this with the... Terabinth. And then we're going to save this. And then we're going to update my white mage. Uh, reassign. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Reassign glamour plate link to be this. And then we're going to go white mage. And then we're going to repair my gear. And then. I'm gonna go do DR. Actually, let me clear some stuff up. Uh, what's glamour linking with a gear set? Witchcraft? Did you just learn something, Teddy? They added that because people wanted to be able to have, so like, 
so I could have like different glamour on uh, on white mage and like scholar, even though they wear the same gear. <laughs> you learn something every time you're here. I'm glad. I'm glad you can learn stuff. Because, yeah, now that, um, I, I should update it, but, like, even though my Scholar is wearing the same gear, if I switch to Scholar, I'll be in the other, oh, I'll be even, an even older gear set. Am I just, like, wearing really old gear on Scholar? Apparently. No. Well, never mind. <laughs> Wait, if we do this, but then we do this, then it changes it. Oh, I guess I do just have, that wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, so you have a glamour. I mean, yes. I, I, I don't have that, but, well, apparently I do, but I just have, like, a really old glamour set. <laughs> so when you're wearing the same gear, they look different. Yes. The only caveat is you need to, yeah, that is how it works. If you change jobs, like, out in the field somewhere where you can't apply glamour plates, uh, then it doesn't work. But if you change jobs in town, then it does work. So... Because all it basically just auto applies the plate as you equip the gear, so it's just like glamouring your gear while you're <laughs> equipping it. Yeah, it's just a shortcut to applying the plate. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go to that place. That's not there. Domain Enclave, and do a dr run, and then that'll probably be. It for tonight. That is less impressive, but you're still glad you learned about it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is. It's still helpful. It's also nice, like when you get new new gear. Like, y as soon as I assign new gear to White Mage, like when I switch to White Mage, it'll update my glamour. So, like, but yeah, it is just a shortcut to applying the plate yourself, but, um, that's a nice shortcut. Oh, I think I have, I have some stuff to appraise, don't I? Yes, clarity for reasons. Lost Flare Star, cool. And finesse. Lost Dervish. All right, Sergios, Cer Seros, Jeros, uh, DR, enter, DR. Oh wait, oh, I get this quest. Accept. Blah 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 blah. Cool. What are you guys think of my glamour? I wish you could die this this top, but like 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 what is going on? Do I just have like is this like a tattoo or is it supposed to just be like random fucking scarring? Like that's not it's not like ribbons or anything. That's like, it's like I don't know. It's like a tattoo or a scar. It almost looks like it's more of a scar, but those are some pretty darn thick scars and a nice pattern scar. But uh, I like it. I really like how it's like got the one sleeve. Um, but I guess that's I, my favorite glamour has that too. Let me see. Um, oh yeah, I can't apply glamour plates here. But my my favorite glamour that I use a lot has that. You got some red leather pants from the latest raid? <laughs> you have to make a glamour around it, obviously. <laughs> obviously! Although pants are overrated. I'm I'm a fan of the not pant. N no pant look. Ari's got to show off like a good amount of thigh in whatever glamour she has, so I don't use a lot of pants. <laughs> if you can't see Ari's thigh, it just feels wrong. <laughs> That is a healthy amount of thigh, to be fair. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like to have at least, like, a little strip. Like, I kind of like wearing... Like, I like wearing either, like, bikini bottoms or a short skirt with, like, the thigh-high boots. That's the look that I like. But I feel like this dangly stuff in front makes thigh-high boots look a little bit weird with with this uh, outfit. So I had to go with a little bit lower of boots. Although I do like this... Uh... uh no, it's the top. The top is from, but this this dangly part is from the top. It's part of the top. And then I just put a skirt underneath it. 
just to cover up a little bit of thigh. I felt like thigh all the way up was a bit much. <laughs> so I put a skirt on for some modesty. <laughs> you know, priorities. <laughs> I should see. Okay, I have Ether Weaver. Let me replenish my kits. And we'll put on a profane just in case we want that too. I'm gonna need more. How much Ether Weaver do I have left? I feel like I'm getting awfully low on Ether Weaver. Oh no, I still have six. Every time I think I'm getting low, I realize I have like ten more. Although, if I have to do like uh, nine more of these, so I will be out. I have less Ether Weavers than I have DRs left to do. When Thigh becomes hip, you've gone too far. I mean, not necessarily. I'd be okay with it. I just, I just kind of like the, the skirt look. I was just gonna do like a bikini bottom underneath, initially. But I like the look of the skirt. I keep trying, I'm trying to stop at the tip and I keep running right off the edge. I like this like stitching look going on here. Although maybe it's just supposed to be paint on burlap. But it looks like embroidery in my, in my mind. Yeah, like that looks really embroidered down there. Ah, I see. The very tip doesn't have collision. That's why I keep walking off the end. Because I was, I stopped, but I was like, I'm not at the end. Like, see? I'm not at the end here, but if we walk, how far, can, yeah, see? That's why I fell off so many times. Goddamn tip has no collision. <laughs> that sounds wrong, but you know. I guess we'll just sit daintily up here. <laughs> that totally makes sense. A party member has withdrawn. How dare they? I like this outfit though, because, like, this isn't usual healer gear. Like, this is unusual to get something like this for healer. Usually we get, like, stupid robes that cover way too. like, the entire leg. Robes, no. Like, why? That's the problem with playing White Mage. All my gear is robes, and I don't like covering up Ari's thighs, so a lot of that never gets worn. Alright, it is a Aether Weaver kind of night. There's only one other healer. I need to spend more time looking at other people's glamour. Let's see, what's my co-healer wearing? Ah, my co-healer is this person. See, they had to cover up some, uh, some thigh, too. Just a smidgen. And what's the tank wearing? Oh, okay. What is that gear? Law's Order. Huh, okay. Mm. Oh, that's the gear from, uh, I know what gear that is. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, Law's Order is the DR gear, right. I knew I recognized the name, I just didn't know what it was from. Uh, did I look at this person? I did, right? Yes. And then... That's cute. Nope. Ankles. And apparently we're starting, but I'm gonna look at this person's gear first. And that's kind of boring. Oh, I forgot to do my last... Lost Seraph. Alright. I gotta pay, pay attention. And probably heal. First mercy, we need to go to the right and then we stay at the back. Back to front is the answer. <laughs> One, two. This person got 
got whacked. All right. Tank Buster. They're fine. Burden path is get in. Front or, front or back, I think? Yeah. I never thought of my my weapon for this glamour. Apparently it's uh that. I suppose that works. Wait, what color even is that? Who knows? Too much healing. Verdant Path, I think this one's a stack one. They're all called Verdant Path though, right? I'm not crazy about that. Iron Splitter, this is white. Tempest, AoE. Burden Path is. I don't know which one this one is. In, apparently. Baleful Swathe. I don't know what that is. Is that a tank thing? Looks like it. Phantom Edge is the thing that modifies stuff. So this will be a knockback if he does it? Yeah. Phantom Edge modifier. I do have a tether. Where is my tether person? I want to get knocked into a wall again. Verdant Tempest. I don't think people are standing in my circle. Oh, they moved into it. Nice. Oh, this one. Act of Mercy? First Mercy. Oh, that's this. Okay. Left. Right. Okay, I was left and then back. Back. Um, and then. Okay. Perfect. Seasons of Mercy. Alright, well, people are gonna get themselves wrecked. Look away from the orb. Where's the orb? Okay, it's over there. Get away from the purple. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I think I'm far enough here, yes. Burn Tempest. Alright. Good, so you raise the guy. I don't wanna. I just want a DPS. Burden path. What is this one gonna be? Does that have to do with the color? Oh, 
Oh my goodness. So much death and destroy. Stop moving, dude! My god. <laughs> Why? Why are so many people dead? Iron Splitter, Beyond White. I'm gonna long cast Rays for reasons that I'm not entirely sure why. And I need to be on blue. Oh, that person's gonna die. Oh, dear God. Oh, they were good. They didn't do anything. Verdant Path. Blue. Okay, they're different colors. That's what you gotta look for. You'd think I'd have learned this by now. So green is um, line stack. Blue is cross. First Mercy. I need to be on his far. I'm just gonna be dead. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm still learning how to figure out these goddamn mechanics. Oh, I got Trinity Seeker again. I don't need that. I got it last time, and it was the last one I needed. I'm happy to let other people go and find the traps. And Trash Boss. And early pull. Thanks, guy. Shockwave, move into it. Boom. Oh, I should have moved to the side. Oh, so I'm not in the middle of that. Ugh. Ugh. I'm sort of not in that. I like the look of this glamour, but I just wish it could be like a more fun color. Do more, uh, more castrum. Wait. Oh, they changed just so you get, um, you get metal from this now, I think. Which will be nice. I am. Um, I was. Oh, I was capped. That's why I stopped doing it. I did cap myself again. 
And after I capped it, it was kind of like, well, what's the point of doing this anymore, even though I need more uh, things? I'm going to kill myself, as per usual, because tanks can't tank. Oh, they did! It's a miracle! It's a miracle. It's glorious. Oh, do they not do their AoE in normal? Maybe they don't. Too much play. I need to stand by Big Bomb. I need a little bomb. Boo, I didn't get the last one off. Oh, Ray's gone. Is he dead? It is in. And then it will be out. Non-tethered one. Alright. Uh, tank's probably gonna go the opposite way. I suppose that's fine though, since I'm ranged. Oh, he must be perfect. Tank buster. Last one or is there one more? There's one more. Excuse me. Why does this thing have to be coming straight through the middle? Um, oh, 
I'm in the first one. Um, I don't think this is safe here, but maybe. Oh, it is. Okay, good. I was like, there's other people here. Maybe they see... Maybe there's more space than I think. And there was definitely more space than I thought. right there. Oh, just die. I don't want to do this mechanic. Thank you. <sighs> Cleric stance wears off before I can attack these guys. Sad face. Get dots up all on, uh, on all of them. Ooh, and we can get a size off. Oh, perfect. This guy can keep hitting. Uh-oh, somebody got them full skill. Coat of arms, they're gonna die. It's gonna die, it's gonna be fine. Did, oh, oh, we killed them all. Okay. I like how quick this person is, um, except for like the early pulling. Pro moves. You see that? I actually got two casts off in the middle of that. Oh shoot. <laughs> I forgot to use them. <laughs> oh man, there we go. Oh no. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's, uh, can we sure cast this? Somehow I feel like you can. No. <sighs> Luckily, you have tons of time.
for crunk juice. All right, all trash bosses are done for normal. All we've got left are two real bosses, and then we're done. That? Just like ran straight into it on, on purpose. Oh, oh, right. We don't wait here. Four, three, two, one. Tank Buster. AOE. We did it. Oh, shoot. Damn it. I was trying to get off uh, Misery before Claire's stance wore off, and I failed. Flames of Bajja. I wish we would have to go this way. Glory of Bosja. Ooh, that's spicy. Um, yeah, let's get this over here. Hopefully, some people will come stand in it. I have not been paying attention. It's sword time, and I need double fire. That is not double fire. This is double fire, and it's on the side. Shoot, are we still a stack? Off of this side. Tonight you use the line that bubble is all the healing you're getting because I've got presence of mind and you have temporarily resigned to see if so this is just too stupid. <laughs> nice. Be near the tank. Glory of Bosja, AoE. Mm, 
Oh shoot, I oh maybe I didn't need to <laughs> interrupt that cast. Oh, uh, I guess I'm Benny this guy, I don't think I need to do anything else. I need double fire. Buster. Behind. Flames of Bosja, which way are we going to run? This way. Ooh, I was cutting that a little bit close. Ooh, I'm also standing awfully close to that. I mean, I was safe, but that was uncomfortably close. Okay, I need one fire. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. <sighs> that was <laughs> so close with our health. Oh my god. I'm like shocked nobody died there. <laughs> like legit shocked. I don't understand how. That was like pure luck too that that uh... Well, I think... I think my last uh... <laughs> Holy stack saved our lives. That, I, that came up just in time. Because I would not have had time to actually cast anything. Oh. Can I d Ugh. Shh, just stood there, I knew it was gonna die before that went off. Oh yeah, I'm kinda out of water. Sad piece. We just got the queen to do. Let's gonna leave his party, why? I am ready. People stand so far back here. And then I feel uncomfortable running all this way up. And then somebody runs up even further in. Agriculture. Lovely. Aoe. Ooh, spicy. Tank Buster with a Doom. <sighs> Middle is safe if either of them or is safe if none of them are one, otherwise you go stand by the beside the one that's not one, which 
means this is safe. Thankfully, I didn't have to move. And that's how you can figure it out without having to actually think. Which isn't that the goal of of not <laughs> of doing any mechanic, not having to think about it? I mean, I guess you still have to think, but like, don't have to think that hard. And whichever way they're going parallel to each other is where we want to go. And this is a knockback, get close to the line. We have a death. I do not want to raise. Tank Buster, it's not a cleave, it doesn't matter. It comes with the side of doom. I am safe if neither of them are one. Neither of them are one, so middle is safe. And we're going this way. Oh, Victor. If I was better at rescue, I would have rescued him. God save the queen. Big damage. Oh, it seems to be over here for some reason. need to be two away from where I start. So I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to run to the opposite side of her. Tank Buster with the side of doom. tethers, so it should be big. Oh, those people all look real lost. Right. They figured it out, though. AoE damage. is safe if neither of them are one, neither of them are one, middle is safe, so I want to go here and then end up in the middle. Oh, let me do this. Except for the part where uh, I'm wasting my poor uh, 
My poor, um, the thing, you know? Clark's dance. <laughs> While being stunned. Alright, I think this is where he brings a bunch of dudes. And you gotta find the non-tethered one. Preferably to the north or the south. Yep. Alright, so we wanna go to this one. Why are they going off to a side? Am I missing something here? I feel like that's a bad spot to be. And then we're going this way. Well, people didn't get wrecked apparently. Oh, it was both of them. I see. Okay, no, it was fine because uh, both of those were safe. I understand. <laughs> totally wasted all my little stacks doing that. <laughs> Not really. Ugh. All right, which way are they parallel? Hmm, this way, and then there's also okay. There's a guy right there, so middle is not safe for sure. But here is safe. Okay. Oh, please, people move! Please, please do not all get wrecked there. Okay. Um. I don't want to raise these people. It's too close to being dead. I don't even care. Yay! My time worn artifact. Did I get anything from that? Alright. Bosd and silver coins. Alright. That is that. Got another DR done. I need eight more for my first relic. <laughs> and then five bajillion more later. Alright. Let me... Teleport. Oh wait. Let's turn in this quest. And then I'm going to go back to the free company house. I don't care what you have to say. Complete. Alright, back to free company house. And that is going to be it for me for tonight. Um, I f don't think I'm going to do a stream tomorrow afternoon. I have some stuff that I want to get done. Um... So I think I'm going to just do tomorrow night's stream. It's probably going to start at 7.30 because we're doing um, Diamond Extreme with the static. So uh, we're starting at usual time for that. So instead of having to kill like 30 minutes at the start of my stream, I'm just going to show up at 7.30. So until then, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Thursday night. Have a good Friday. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Later.